A clinical trial is bringing a new medicine to test into a setting in cancer where it really hasn't been proven before. Richard was very passionate about clinical trials from the very beginning. I was very passionate about them. It is the only way to defeat this horrible disease. I'm not afraid of death, but I want to live. And a trial, to me, is something that may prolong my life. I participated in two clinical trials. Uh, the first one, I was on it for about three weeks. I just felt horrible. I went ahead and dropped out of it, which is my choice to do. I think one of the hardest elements in deciding about clinical trials is a type of clinical trial called the randomized trial. A lot of folks overlap with that is placebo, right? Now, almost never are there placebos in cancer clinical trials. It's usually treatment A versus treatment B. If there's ever a placebo, it wouldn't be in place of a known effective treatment. Part of dealing with what we're going through is, is eliminating the fear of the unknown. And by going through clinical trials and others seeing that you survived and thrived as a result of that, gives them the courage to, mm -hmm. to take it on as well. Once you're on a clinical trial, if you don't like what's going on, if it's not going well, you can stop anytime. Um, and your team, your healthcare team, will offer you different approaches. I think just the clinicaltrials.gov website is very confusing. And people do get frustrated. I, I got frustrated and just quit looking when I first got diagnosed. You know, when you go onto a clinical trial, we don't fit you with a tail and new little ears and call you a guinea pig and study you. When you actually look back, you recognize that patients on studies get kind of fussed after more than patients getting standard of care. In many cases, it's cheaper because sometimes the medicines that are being given are provided free, whereas they're not being charged to insurance with participation in clinical trials. He looked at it as hopefully it would save his life, hopefully it would extend his life, hopefully it would be the thing that let him grow up, seeing our boys grow up. But if not, that hopefully it would help the research move forward so that someday it could save millions. Maybe it could save our boys because we have two young boys who are now at high risk for uh, colon cancer. It's the only way we're gonna beat this stupid disease and it's the only way that um, people can extend their lives, that young husbands can watch their kids grow up. It gives us hope. It gives us the hope that we need in order to uh, continue the fight. Too often, it, the word cancer robs an individual of uh, the ability to understand that there's hope. And clinical trials give you that. The will to, to get well is, goes beyond just the medication. It also has a lot to do with your mindset. That possibility of, uh, of being cured through clinical trials is, is very significant.